In this presentation, we're going to look at the Model R package. Now, currently, this is part of the Tidyverse universe of R packages. Uh, I've read somewhere that it's going to be incorporated into a new package, an updated package, probably with Broom or something like that. So, for the time being, it exists, but it, in future, it might actually be part of a new package. But I think all of the functionality that I'm going to introduce in this presentation should continue on to whatever develops in the future. So if you look out for Tidyverse and tidyverse.org, you should be able to sort of keep track of the current updates. Now, in this presentation, we are going to look at model quality metrics. For example, the RMSE, the MAE, the QAE, and so on. Now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a very simple model I'm going to use the iris data set for a very simple model. But what I'm going to do as much as I can is to actually try and use the functionality offered to me by model R as much as possible. So what I'm going to do with the iris data set is just see if I can create a model matrix for the species variable. I'll just show you what I mean here, but I'll just show how it works first off. This is the command model matrix, okay? Now that gives me a tibble, okay? So I'm just gonna save that because I'm gonna incorporate it into my matrix later on. So I'm gonna call that speece model matrix, okay? S, capital S, P, E, C, M, M, model matrix, okay? Model matrix is a lovely little command uh, that actually converts a categorical variable into a binary, a series of binary variables. Just to get a clear idea of what, what I'm talking about, and just in case you're new to R, let's just have a quick look at that. So I'll just bring up the head of iris. Oops, the head of iris, let's do that again. So it's this column he here, species. So it's Setosa, Versicolor, Virginica, so on. So there's 150 cases in this data set, there are 50 setosas, 50 versicolors, and 50 virginicas. And this is actually known as a factor variable, but what we want to do is create a binary variable that if it is three binary variables, if it's setosa, it's one, if it's not a setosa, it's zero, and likewise for versicolor and virginica. So what we have there, let's just bring that up, iris, species so we have all of this information here that's just the the column there okay and what we're going to do is convert it into this here okay so it's a little it's just cropped at the top but it actually would have setosa the setosa being the default case because it's the one that is met, uh, encountered first species versicolor and species virginica so just to sort of convert it into that format there. So it's all numeric variables. So we can actually get a little summary of that. Summary of space MM. There we go. And yeah, so it's based on Setosa with reference to Setosa. And so Versicolor and Virginica are just considered variants. Now I'm gonna just adjust things slightly, such that nothing is a variant of anything else. The Versicolor, Setosa, and Virginica are all treated the same way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go back a bit and change this to a minus one. And what happens there is this is what they call a zero intercept model, which in this case would just remove not treat any of them as the default, essentially. So, uh, species Setosa, species Versicolor, species Virginica. Let's get the summary of that. Perfect, that's exactly what I want, okay? Now, in this case, summary is not oh, incredibly useful, particularly as this is ultimately a logical variable, a, bo a Boolean variable, a binary variable, but it does give me the proportions of each, and that's exactly what I was hoping to get. The mean of a logical variable of a Boolean variable is essentially a proportion. Okay, so I'm gonna just recreate iris two as the 
numeric variables of iris, which are the first four, and species MM, the model matrix. Now, there's other ways of doing this with tidyverse, but this way it works just perfectly fine. I'm just giving it a new name because it's a bad idea to overwrite an existing data set. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. Okay. Now, there are other ways of doing this with dplyr, but they're more or less the same. I just use cbind there. cbind is column bind that just co uh, combines columns of the same dimension uh, to each other. Now, so what I'm going to do is with, I have iris2 as a data set. Now, what you could do there is use as a response variable, the first variable, sepal length, and predict it, or model it, using the other variables. Okay. Now, the, and you can use things like random forest. Now, I'll sort of leave that as a little exercise. And I'll do it in another video, but it's, you know, if you're using that, just as a remark, the model matrix in a lot in data science is also known as one hot encoding. Okay. Quite useful for what they call feature engineering. Now, that's uh, all, very, all well and good. Now, I'm going to use a very simple model first off, LM. And what I'm gonna do here is I am going to use a linear model. Now the thing about linear models is that they are a little bit more constrained by functionality and tractability. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to revert back to the iris data set for this particular one, okay? So there we have a little model there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call that, name that my model, okay, or the model, or linear model. Now, so RMSE uh, of model, capital M, and the data set, we have to name the data set here, Iris. Now, this is 0 0.300627, that's fine. But actually, that is the model metric, and actually, that's one of the end goals of this exercise. There's another one, MAE, model, Iris, okay, and so on. But the thing is, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? So this is where the vignette comes in help, helpful, or the pa uh, package. So I'm just going to type in command RMSE, okay? And what I have here is the help file. So RMSE, I'll just actually sort of pause that a second. So RMSE is the root mean squared error, which is a very uh, important metric in terms of quality for a model. All types of models, not just linear models. I'm, I'm just deliberately taking a very simplistic model here, but it applies in all cases like random forest. Uh, MAE is the mean absolute error, which I believe is equivalent to the bias. QAE is the quantiles of the absolute error, so it just gives you a sense of the distribution of the mean absolute error. And these can both be interpreted on the scale of the response. Uh, MAE is less sensitive to outliers. R square is the variance of the predictions divided by the variance of the response. Okay. So RMSE, MAE, R squared, and also the quantiles of the model, of the, um, the distribution of absolute errors. So there's two things we need, and it is the model. We need to specify the model, which could be a linear model, which, like I've just done here, or a random forest, or try anything, okay? And also... A, you actually have to specify a data set. The reason why you have to specify a data set is because this can be used for a training data set or a testing data set. And it's a very, very useful, very convenient to go from the training data set and then apply it to the testing data set almost immediately without refitting the model. It's very convenient like that. So, and, and actually I will do that with a follow-up video where I will use random forest and training and testing data sets. 
just but just let's say uh, just let's concentrate on this first off. So R square of the model is oh and I have to again put in the name of the data set, Iris. 86%, not 0.867. Seems seemingly pretty good. Now, don't get carried away. This is what you use training and testing data sets for. It's very, uh, the model was fitted using this data, so it's highly specified to the iris data. This is where we would use testing and training data sets just to actually properly assess the uh, model. Okay. Finally, let's just look at QAE of the model iris. There we go. That is the uh, quantiles of the uh, absolute errors uh, mean absolute error so not 0.2428 should be close to the 50 percent but that's the median remember that's the median not the mean this is the mean not the median okay so we leave it there that's pretty good